you're not okay I look into your eyes and see you fade away Right guys, so I told you yesterday I was going to be getting a car. I had a look online and it was going to cost me around like $600 to get a car from the airport. So I messaged the guy that owns this Airbnb and was like, could you give me a lift to the airport so I can pick up my car? He messaged me back, he was like, I could easily give you a lift, however, I've actually got a car that I could give you and it's only $200 for the full week which is amazing, like that is so cheap. And I was like, that's fine. So he came, he came round this morning and dropped it off. I was like, do you need my driving license? He was like, no, it's fine. If you're over 25, um, the, the car is covered. And then he just handed me the keys and left. Wait till you see this car, guys. I'm honestly in stitches. I'm a way to go to the supermarket just now because I need to pick up some more green beans. I'm going to go to the, the fresh market, the one that is further away and, and just have a little drive. But, oh my God, you guys will be in stitches. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to be driving this. Here she is. She is a stunner. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's perfect though, it'll do. It will do. Yep. Perfect. So I'm going to go get my stuff and we'll take her for a spin. But it's going to make my life so much easier travelling around the, the beautiful island. It means we can go explore as well, which will which be really, really cool. Oh, I'm excited. And I pick up, pick up Malena tomorrow as well from the airport at half past four. So that'll be really, really good, and it'll be good to, to see her as well. Let's see how we get on. I feel very far back. This is mental. Why is it so far back? Oh, there we go. Here we go. This car could not have came at a better time. I am exhausted. I, my legs feel so numb. Every single step hurts. I can't believe my weight go train legs. I'm really, really tired. I'm really, really hungry, even with sleeping earlier today because the Wi-Fi in my Airbnb had stopped working for a period of time and I had to go to the hotel this morning to the Grand Hyatt to do some of my client check-ins. But I didn't get there until half past six. So, yeah, I got a really long lie this morning because normally I'm up at like like 4 a.m. But today I slept until like half past five. So I have got more sleep, but my body's just like, nope. But we're going to power through this leg session. We're just going to get it done. It's just going to be a case of like leaving a couple of reps in reserve. But you'll be really glad to hear, or you probably don't care, but I got this today which is zero calorie squash and it tastes like a slushy. Makes the water go a mental color as well. Oh, that needs more water. Wow. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really tired. I just need to get this session done so I can just come back. I've got one set up to do, which I'm going to be doing when I come back. And I'm going to watch a bit of TV or I'm going to try I'm going to really, really try and actually watch TV. I know it sounds absolutely ridiculous, but I just never, ever put on Netflix or anything. However, I found something that I think I want to watch, and it's this. So it says I'm five minutes in, but I'm not. I've just kind of put it on. But yeah, let's head to the freaking gym. Oh, I love it. 
it. And oh, look at this. I can't remember where I parked it. Where is it? Sweating. Is that it over there? Is that my baby? I think it is. My cube. There she is. There's my babe. Hey, sexy. Hey, sexy lady. We are back in the cube. We're on our way to get our eyebrows waxed. This is the start of the glamming process. So the roundabout. I've got my eyebrows today. In 300 meters. I've got my nails. Take the second exit. I've got my nails tomorrow. I've got my nails tomorrow, yeah. And then on Friday, I've got my eyelashes on Thursday. Then I have got my hair on Friday. I'm going to be getting what's called a silk press. So basically it lasts like two to three weeks, but they use like a a thing. I don't know what it is, but they actually it's it is for like about. I, I, I don't know. In 300 meters, at the roundabout, take the second exit. Um, it is for like, I think people with like frizzy hair or really curly hair and it just straightens it out. But it's supposed to be actually really, really good for your hair. The, the process of getting glam begins. We are five days out. So I'm just going to go get my eyebrows washed. I've took a towel with me. I have took a bikini. Um, in 500 okay. metres, oh. at the roundabout, take the first exit. Yeah, I'm going to go to the beach or something today because it is stunning. And I've got a couple of hours to chill before I pick Malena up from the airport, which will be good. My eyebrows are looking so nice. This is the first time I've had my eyebrows waxed since March 2019. I didn't, I haven't had them waxed since before the first lockdown, which is mental. All the fish restaurants, I think. Yum. Looks good though. I think it's like beers and everything. I have had such a chilled day today. I sat at the Grand Hyatt and just enjoyed the sunshine. I'm a little bit burnt, but it'll it'll go brown tomorrow, but I am away to have my third meal, which is 150 grams of tilapia. I feel like I'm American. I've got tilapia and asparagus. That's not American, is it? What do I even sound like just now? <laughs> Yeah, so I feel like a proper American because I'm having tilapia. It was really cheap. It was like $7 for a big pack, considering the chicken is like a fortune. So I just thought I would mix it up a little bit. So I'm having tilapia, 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 tilapia and asparagus and then a bowl of ice flakes. And then I've got another bowl of ice flakes this evening as well. I need to wash my hair, exfoliate, exfoliate, and I've got my nails tomorrow at nine o'clock, so that's going to be very exciting. I'm going to just get French manicure, French white tips, because obviously I've got different colors of bikinis, so I'm not going to be getting anything crazy. So nine o'clock tomorrow, I'll be getting these bad boys sorted. Eyelashes on Thursday, then let the games begin. Oh, by the way, guys, I forgot to show you. I forgot to show you last night, I was just scrolling through Instagram and a girl put up the schedule for for the show. So I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have to go, go, go and look. So I uh, got the schedule up and I couldn't sleep last night because I was so worried. So I've got the schedule here. So there they are. Erin Thompson, Scotland. No idea why they put Scotland and why they didn't put 
uh, United Kingdom. However, this is a stark lineup. She is actually a IFBB physique pro that's doing figures, so she's going to be huge. She competed in the New York Pro and came third. Jessica is an Olympian as well. She is um, like she does really, really well. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good girls that I'm going to be competing against. The nerves are real. This is where the, this is where the fun begins, though. I'm just going to enjoy it. Like that's all I can do. I can only go and do my best. Like there's nothing else I can do. Like I have felt a little bit of pressure from social media because people's messaging me being like, "You're going to win. You are going to smash this. You look amazing." And although I absolutely love the messages and the support that I've got from everyone, it's. It's really, really overwhelming because, like, the pro, the, the pro league is a completely different ball game. Like, for anybody that knows, like, I'm very young for my category. Like, ugh, I'm very young for my category. So, I'm, I'm probably going to be the youngest by, like, 10 years, which is mental. But I've just got to, this is my starting position. This is my first pro show. There's no expectations. There's no... I'm putting no pressure on myself for this show and this is, yeah, I'm just going to go and I'm just going to enjoy the freaking day and that's, and that's all I can do, just enjoy the day, no pressure, I just don't want to let anybody down because I know that I'm not going to, I'll, I'll, I'll be lucky if I don't come last, <laughs> but hey ho, it is what it is, I'm just excited to be here and grateful to be here, I'm, I'm competing in the Bahamas for goodness sake, <sighs> unreal, let's give it a try. Let's give this fish a try. Hopefully it's good. I've got Mrs. Dash and uh, no salt, no nothing, garlic seasoning on it. Mmm. It is actually really, really good. Yes, I'm, just, I'm going to be turning into an American after this trip. Dials in the car are, are in kilometers, but the signs are in miles per hour, which is really, really weird. So I'm getting confused with what speed I'm actually supposed to go because the signs on this road say 30 miles per hour. However, this is in kilometers, so yeah. Confusing. Training session is now complete. I am now on my way to the airport because I'm on my way to pick up Milena, which is really, really exciting. Um, I'm buzzing to, to have her here and it'll just be good to have a little bit of company. I'm actually going to be staying her for, with her from Wednesday onwards. However, I stupidly booked my Airbnb until, until Wednesday. So I'm going to be staying in my own Airbnb until then, however, yeah, I'm really, really excited to, excited to pick her up and, and see her. Um, it's just making it all feel a little bit more real now, which is crazy. This is actually mental. I have been waiting here for two hours. The flight got delayed and I haven't eaten. I am starving. I haven't eaten a post-workout yet. I feel like I'm going to go hypo. So hopefully Melina's bag arrives soon and we can get to the apartment because I've literally drunk like three and a half litres of water since I've been here. So I'm trying not to like pass out. Hello! Welcome oh to the Bahamas! God. Are you excited? I am, I am. Let's check what code. Yeah, this yeah. is our Airbnb here. This car is honestly killing me. I think so. It, mm. Yep. Here we go. Yes. Oh my oh god! My god. <laughs> right, let me just drop this first. Oh my god, Evan! Oh that my god! Incredible. Yes! Unreal!
Oh my, oh my god. god. So this is the person's house that owns the Airbnb that we're in. And it's currently, <laughs> the sprinklers are on. I think we'll be, we be, we better going out the front door, I think. Unless you want to walk over that. No, I don't. <laughs> the perfect check-in spot over there. Is it same code to get into the gym? Oh my god, this is perfect! This place is actually unbelievable. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a lovely place to work and to chill. It's just like a little outdoor patio, but we've got like a, a jacuzzi thing inside the, in the, inside the apartment as well, which is pretty cool, but I am being bitten alive, which is not ideal, but... <sighs> This place is going to be a so we're just a way to go to the supermarket. Milena is just a way to check in first with her coach, and then we'll head to the supermarket so she can get a couple of little bits before tomorrow. And then tomorrow, um, we'll probably go to the the bigger supermarket just so she can get a load of stuff that she needs. She's also going to be going to the gym as well, so I'll take her to the gym, which is awesome. But yeah, this place is amazing. Well, that was embarrassing. I just stood at the pump for like 10 minutes waiting, thinking the lady was going to going to switch it on. However, you've got to go in and pay it first. And then you don't actually put in the fuel. There's guys standing and they put in the fuel for you. So by the time I came out of the shop, the guy was already fueling, fueling my car, which is it. <laughs> this is the current sleeping situation. Because I have been bitten alive, I think it's maybe something in my apartment. I think I'm, it, it's maybe ants or something. Because I went into the bathroom and there was loads of little like, like baby ants on the floor. So, I've got this. I have sprayed the whole apartment. I feel quite intoxicated, I think. Sprayed the whole apartment with this. I've also got spray here so I'm putting that all over me I've got on a jumper I've got on leggings and I'm going to put on big socks because I can't get stung anymore and yeah it's it, it's it's ruining me so this stuff protects against ants yeah it is a super Ceratox. So yeah, let's let's just pray it works. But at least there's aircon in here, so I'll be fine. But good night. Ah! Good morning guys. Check-in is complete. It is three days out. We are three days out from the Puerto Rico Pro. We are three days out from my pro debut. We are having a refeed today. We start the carb up process today. 500 grams of carbs is going in. Today is going to be a freaking amazing day. My weight actually shot up half a kilo last night, but I'm not too worried. I feel really, really good. Uh, my physique looks good. Um, everything's exactly where it's supposed to be. I'm excited to see what I look like with a little bit of carbs in again. I'm just going to chill over the next couple of days. I'm moving out of this apartment as well and going to Milena's, but I'm actually going to stay in the Grand High at the night of my competition just because I'm going to be competing at six o'clock at night and then two o'clock in the afternoon. So it's just so I'm there at the venue for tan, makeup and everything. And it's just going to make my life easier. But where I'm sleeping, it's up like a big spiral staircase and I just don't feel comfortable. Um, I, like I go to the toilet like, five or six times during the night and going up and down there is going to be a nightmare so I'm just going to stay in the stay in the host hotel for Friday night which is going to be exciting so I'm just we'll wait to get everything organized it's nearly eight o'clock I need to go get my nails done at nine come back eat and let the games begin I really need to go get organized I'm just boiling my water for a coffee just now boiling my water for a coffee and I'm going to wait to quickly put you guys in charge because I'm not wanting to run out of charge today because that would be a typical Erin Thompson 
It would, it would just be typical of me. I'm just getting everything ready for moving out of here because this, after I get my eyelashes done, I'm going to be moving to Milena's apartment. Well, not Milena's apartment, the apartment that I'm going to be staying in with Milena. And then I've actually booked the Grand Hyatt for the night before my competition because I'm not having the stress of having to travel back and forth and back and forth. So yeah, I've booked that, which is going to be perfect. But I'm just about to go get my eyelashes done. Hopefully I find the place. My legs looking lean. See when the carbs start going in, I start to get really, really nervous. Because obviously you've been pushing so hard for the whole of your prep to then suddenly be doing nothing on peak week, like a reduction in steps, no cardio, like I've been tapered like the past two weeks. I'm done I'm not doing any cardio since I got here. I've been here for two weeks and I'm not doing a single bit of cardio. I've done steps, but I've not done anything else. So like from a mindset perspective, it's just playing on my head a little bit. And I'm sure everybody that's done a prep agrees that it's all just one big massive mind game. But I, I know the drill, like I know that it's all about, like peak weeks, all about relaxing. How do I open this thing? There we go. Oops. Uh, yeah, peak weeks, all about relaxing I'm trying to wash my clothes and everything before i go so yeah peak week is all about relaxing and getting the body ready for for show day so this is i just need to to chill and just enjoy the process because the work is done now I feel like I look so much better already. Get my nails done in the next hour or so. If I actually get home, I need to eat. I have been waiting in this traffic for ages. There is a crash on the road and they're letting everybody go this way and nobody that way. It's pissing me off. But yeah, there's like so much traffic and they're just letting everybody, everybody go this way. Exfoliation round two is going down. This stuff is a mirror. It stinks. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? I put this all over my legs, all over my whole body to get every little bit of hair off. <laughs> Just so the tan goes on really, really nicely today. Because we are going to the venue at, what time's registration? Oh. Registration's at four o'clock. Then we're going to be getting our tan done at half past five, so, yeah, we need to make sure that the skin is nice and pepper that. Oh my god. Yeah, this is the reality of prep. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I'm waiting for my week to <laughs> I'm waiting for my week to set and I'm cooking my chicken. So yeah. <laughs> Saying goodbye to my first apartment. Oh. So I am now staying with Malena. I've already moved in there, I've already got all my stuff there and everything. And we have waited. We are all nice and smooth, ready for tan tomorrow, but I left my camera here. Good job I haven't handed the keys back in. My face looks really swollen. Yeah, good job I didn't hand the keys back because uh, I was really, I, I was worried I had lost my camera. But we've got it. It's safe. I've got you guys, which is good. So. We are beaded. We are ready to rock. Eyelashes are on. Nails are on. Everything's starting to feel very, very real now.